The West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources received $14.6 million in federal funding to combat the drug epidemic. We are also expecting another $28 million this fall. So that is a large amount of resources to put towards expanding access to op for people with opioid use disorder. West Virginia officials have organized a series of one-stop career events to recruit correctional officers and staff for the state's regional jails. Governor Jim Justice spoke to students from all 55 counties who received scholarships from EQT. You may think life's tough for you right now, and I'd say you haven't seen nothing yet. It's going to get tougher, but you know what? The good Lord above blessed you with an incredible mind. Bird White was named as Secretary of the West Virginia Department of Transportation, and Jimmy Riston was named Acting Commissioner of Highways. The DOT also released the official list of secondary roads in need of repairs following a request from the governor to begin work to fix those issues. The Herbert Henderson Office of Minority Affairs hosted a lecture with guest speaker Dr. Frederick Hightower. And so if anything, it should encourage you to pursue that. The West Virginia Department of Education continued its listening tour across the state to discuss possible education reform. And Governor Justice signed several bills into law, including medical cannabis banking and school bus safety. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.